Today we spoke with a northern Michigan man who tested positive for COVID-19. He wanted to share his story to help others recognize symptoms and offer some encouragement. 13 on your side's Elena Holland spoke with the Otsego County man through FaceTime. I've been staying up here in this guest bedroom, um, waiting to be cleared to be with my wife and kids again. Aaron, who did not want to share his last name, has been in isolation from his family and the rest of the world for more than a week. That's after he came back from a mission trip to Ethiopia and Germany earlier this month. Five days later, um, I started feeling a sore throat and fever and body aches and chills. Aaron knew with his recent travel history, there was a chance he contracted COVID-19 on his trip. He called his family doctor from home, who said to go to the ER and get tested right away. And I had prayed about it, and I was like, I've got this thing, you know, I just do. That's when his quarantine began. A few days later, he got the positive test results. But he said for him, the symptoms weren't as extreme as they could be. He said he never had any respiratory symptoms or nausea, but it definitely did not feel like a normal cold or flu. And maybe for me, the thing that set it apart from any illness I've had before is the body aches. Um, just like kind of like cramps and aches just kind of in my legs and stuff like that. Aaron has been in contact with the CDC every day who are monitoring his case. He said it's important for others to listen to their advice and social distance to stop the spread. Uh, it's not fun. Honestly, I don't really want to be part of it. Um, but I feel like unintentionally I became part of the problem and so I can be intentional about being part of the solution which is at least sharing my story what happened how I got through it he's now been symptom free for five days his correspondent with the CDC said he should be able to come out of isolation this week Aaron said he can't wait to hug his wife and two kids once again you know it's just really supportive network of people and um, I think our country has that going for it I think we're really really blessed by um, people who are willing to reach out when you're in need. Elena Holland, 13 on your side.